well how all of these would impact um, uh, positively or otherwise on local government uh, governance and development at the grassroots. Thank you so much for talking to us on the program this hour. It's my pleasure. All right, let's turn our attention now to the almighty uh, Samoa Agreement, which has now become an issue of controversy. The House of Representatives recently has now resolved to shine some spotlight and uh, investigate some allegations of um, uh, what they call clauses, controversial clauses, allegedly tied to LGBTQ support and foreign aid. I'm joined now by lawyer Ivan Sofili, Mr. Ophili, thank you for joining us on the program this evening. Walk us through what you make of the process of signing such agreements of this nature. The House of Representatives, for instance, is saying, you know what, maybe you should bring it to the House for parliamentary scrutiny first before signing such agreements. What do you make of this? Mr. So, Philly, you may have to unmute your mic. Yes, so the uh, National Assembly have, is empowered by Section 88 and 89 of the 1999 Constitution to oversight the federal government in every transaction. Mm. Every transaction, I mean every transaction. The Samoa Agreement is one agreement or treaty that is expected to impact on the economic welfare and fortune of the Nigerian state as it relates to climate change and other issues thereof. So, um, and that agreement uh, was entered into at a time where uh, some persons have raised certain concern about some of the provisions. And these provisions are uh, teeth towards the um, uh, same-sex relationship and um, uh, reproductive rights, gender rights, and uh, sexual orientation. And the truth is that when you have such kind of agreement that talks about those issues, mm. it's actually very deep, those issues. Uh, when the West, they are talking about reproductive rights, it does not really represent or restrict it to what we may understand. So some persons are saying that uh, because uh, this we have a law against LGBTQ, um, and that the Samoa Agreement contain provisions that uh, represent that. Even though the federal government came out and said that uh, there are no provisions that relate to that, the National Assembly have said it should be suspended. Exactly. The federal government it, even yes. did say that there was no mention of same-sex marriage or LTB, uh, yes. LBT, yes. Uh, so, L LBGTQ in the document. But, but why do you think there's so much distrust in the process? Because... The leadership of the NBA also did say that they scrutinized that document and they could certify that there was no such agreement that infringed on the constitutional provision of the Nigerian law. Yeah, if, if the, the general public and yeah, the intellectuals and the, the general public are saying that that document needs to be looked into proper, it is not enough that the NBA have seen it. The truth is that that document must be made public by the Freedom of Information Act. Everyone, every Nigerian can apply for that document and have it. And then go to the interpretation section of that document because every agreement has an interpretation section. Because a word may not mean what it means generally uh, in an agreement because that interpretation section will define to you what that word means in the context of the agreement. Indeed. Okay, if the National Assembly is now saying that there is a need for the National Assembly to oversight it and possibly call for public hearing, mm -hmm. it is important that that is the, that is the function of uh, legislature. Because uh, if you according to Section 12 of the 1999 Constitution, any charter or agreement or, or treaty, you know, uh, must be domesticated based on Section 12 of the 1999 Constitution. And if, uh, if uh, the National Assembly is uh, raising that issue, it means same will be submitted to Parliament for proper Indeed. scrutiny. Indeed. And uh, in the process, they will call for a public hearing. Much of the apprehensions expressed have been about several specific articles within the agreement. Um, uh, some lawmakers also believe may not necessarily align with Nigeria's national interest and values. But I just want us, because we have to go now, I want us to take a look at this quote that is, you know, common online from 
you know, purportedly from the agreement, it says the parties shall systematically promote a gender perspective and ensure that gender equality is mainstreamed across all policies. As a lawyer, do you see any red flag in that in that quote? Well, you see, every word you have there have its own meaning as it relates to the agreement. If you, you cannot give general meaning to those words and then say there is nothing that is gender of same sex uh, uh, and uh, LGBTQ is not inferable or deducible from that expression. You can't say that until you have the agreement and until you have checked through what gender equality means in light of that agreement. That's what I'm telling you. Mm. You words are used, words used in an agreement. You must go to the interpretation section to find what they mean in the rest in the agreement. You cannot give them meaning, ordinary general meaning, and believe that you are signing an agreement based on the general meaning of those words. It must be on the contextual meaning of the agreement, which is contained in the interpretation section. So the truth is that uh, you can't really say from just reading that word that it does not contain or it contains. Mm. So I like the panic. I like the panic. The panic is, is a testament to the fact that we are conscious of uh, whatever it is. We are, right. we are coming from a lot already, mm. and we need to be careful. Well, I guess we wait to see uh, how the investigation of the House of Assembly, uh, House of Representatives rather, uh, goes in the coming days as all critical stakeholders are expected to now bring some clarity to this agreement. Lawyer Ivan Sofili, thank you so much for talking to us on the program. You're welcome. And that's the show today. You can watch it again at midnight and at 6 a.m. tomorrow. I am Nifemi. Welcome to it. Do something.